I just got a new bob and I think she is so freaking cute, but she is giving flat. This is a 7 by 5 closure glueless wig. So it is pre-plucked, pre-bleached, and pre-cut. So these are things that you don't have to worry about as a beginner. If you're scared of, you know, buying a wig and messing it up, glueless wigs like this unit are the way to go. This is a 14 inch yakky textured wig. So as you can see, you can see the texture in the hair even before we go ahead and put it on. It feels very soft. It feels very soft. I love a good bob. So I'm going to go ahead and put some foundation on the lace and then we can come back and talk about the cap construction. Okay, now let's talk about the cap construction, right? So we have one comb in the back and it comes with an elastic band. It actually wasn't installed on the wig at first, which made me question some things, but they do include it. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. Okay, let's flip her over. Okay, the lace is looking good. All right. Okay, so this is what she's looking like straight out the pack. She's a little bent, so I'm going to go ahead and hit her with a flat iron real quick, and then I'm going to come back and give my thoughts. All right, so we're all installed, and she looks really beautiful. It is giving, like, fresh silk press. Now, personally, this is my opinion, okay? I think yakky textured, kinky straight textured hair looks best on us. I know, I know, I know. I just believe that it gives a more natural look than the silky straight hair does. Very few of us have very silky straight hair. It's not that, to say that it can't happen, but you, you get where I'm coming from. Okay, let's talk about the hairline. Hairline looks great. Hairline looks really, really good. It's not over plucked or anything like that, which, you know, I don't, I don't like when it looks so realistic that it's giving scalpiano. And the only reason I say that is because over time, as you start to brush out your unit, hair is going to eventually start to shed and come out and you'll have like little bald patches in the front. I prefer a hairline that is just a little bit on the thicker side. And this is, this one is good. I mean, look at this. Impressive, ain't it? passes the tongue test and that is I feel like the only reason that is the case is because I did install the elastic band I don't like I do not like wigs that do not come with elastic bands so the fact that they gave you one um inside the packaging here that's great just because we love that good there is no shedding that I have seen yeah nothing so th that that is something we don't have to worry about length this is 14 inches it, it looks a little bit shorter than 14 in inches in all honesty um I'm thinking this actually might be a 12 I double checked and this is supposed to be a 14 and it really is not giving 14 it's definitely giving 12 so that they lose a couple points for that but one thing i will say there are not any like short scraggly pieces on top that make it look like split ends the hair does go all the way down which i appreciate um i'm just kind of bad on shape that this is not a true 14. when i opened her up there was no funny factory smell it smells neutral <laughs> it smells like hair and finally the question that everybody likes to ask is this big head friendly and you know i would go as so far as to say no no this is not a big head friendly wig it is it is pretty snug and i've got a medium size head so honey if you have a, a larger chrome don't be honest with yourself this one ain't for you but that's it guys if you like what you've seen and you like what you've heard go ahead and hit the orange shopping cart down below and if you do decide to try it come back and tell me how you like it and if you have any questions my dms are always open